Hey guys, sorry I'm just not really feeling up to it today. Just found out that my grandma's sick and I'm really worried about her. You know, I know that the Bible talks about sickness, but what does it say? Jesus talks about sickness and even death, but what am I supposed to do? I know that I'm supposed to have faith, which is complete trust in God, but does complete trust also apply whenever somebody that you love gets sick? I guess I'll have to watch today's Bible story to find out, huh? Hello everyone, and my name is Dr. Wordsmith, and today our word is victory. So we're gonna break this down. First, we have a V, as in virtual, as in the virtual candy you will be receiving for Easter this year. Moving on, we have tour, as in I tore off too much toilet paper and now we are running low. And next we move on to Victor, as in my cousin Victor, who doesn't understand social distancing. Six feet, Victor, come on. And last, we have why, as in why is the coronavirus not over yet? So lastly, if we put this all together, we can see we have the word victory, as in Jesus is our victory. He conquered the grave. My name is Dr. Wordsmith. Good day. Hey, you guys, I am so excited to get Ooh, to go. We, oh, Pastor Leah, I made it. I wasn't sure if I was going to. I'll <laughs> tell you what, I've had quite a morning. I what? stopped by the church. There was no one there. No. No one was no at the church. There. And then I got real worried about you. And so I went into your office, I found your computer, and I started going through all your emails until I found the one that said that you were going to be here today. And here I am. So I rode my bike and now I am here. Well, what do you need help with? I don't really need help today, Becky Payne. Okay, what do you want me to do? <laughs> well, I was just going to go over the memory verse with the kids today. Okay, I'll teach the memory verse. You just tell me what it is. Okay, well, we actually have some pictures pictures here to help us. Oh, I love pictures. I know okay, you Okay, okay. You go sit down. I got this. Okay, we got, oh, well, this is the week of Easter. We got a cross. Yep, we got a cross. Okay, so Jesus died on the cross on a TV show. Okay. Well, <laughs> I don't think that that's accurate, Pastor Leah. Well, there is a TV show about that, but that's not what our memory verse is. Oh, okay. So our first okay. one is the cross, but that kind of represents our faith. So our first word is faith, and you were really close on the next one. You said TV show. Yeah. We're going to take off the TV and just have show. So faith shows. Okay, okay. So faith shows the, well, you put your corona mask in the wrong place, Miss <laughs> Leah. It goes up on your mouth, no. not on your eyes. No, it's not a corona. Silly pastor, Leah. It's not a corona mask, Becky May. It's a virtual reality, so uh, we're, but it's just the reality. Oh, we don't have that where I come from. No, no, no. They, but they do have reality. Well, we do have TVs. You have reality. So okay. We'll stick with reality. Okay, make make. so faith shows the reality. Reality. Okay. Yeah, there you okay. go. Good job, reality. Of what? Well, that looks like a fancy thing too. We don't have that where I come from. You don't have those where you come from. No, I don't know. Uh, Remote for the TV? Is no, it is a remote, but it's for the Wii. It's a video game. Oh, okay. Of what Wii? Okay, and that right there is a jackrabbit. Now we do have that where okay. we come from. Yeah, you've probably seen those. I have, I have. I've caught one of those. What what do jackrabbits do? Well, they're they're feisty little things. <laughs> they're hard to catch, I'll tell they you that. They are, they are. Most bunnies hop. Okay, so, so. hop. Hopping over the E <laughs> with four fingers. No, we're not hopping over the E. I don't know, Pastor Leah. We're going to add an E to the word hop. Okay. Do you know what that spells? I sure don't. It, it spells hope. Okay, so we are going to hope for. There you go. Good okay. job, four. It is the, well, are we going on a scavenger hunt? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I went on one of those the other day because we're here in this quarantine and yeah. I got real bored. And so my mama put me on a scavenger hunt. It took me all day. I bet she yep, did. She told, she told me that's you. what she wanted it to do, was to take me all day. Yep. I bet that was the goal. So what are we going on a scavenger hunt for today? Well, this isn't a scavenger hunt, but it's evidence. Oh, okay. Evidence. So well, you picked a lot of big words here. We got reality. We got evidence. Okay. Of things. Okay, we did this one before. Oh yeah, you're repeating pictures. I see that. We. There you go. Good job, we. Oh, look. He has the Rona and he that he has somebody that's leading him no. to the hospital. <laughs> he does not have the Rona. He does. You May. can tell. No, no, no. He has a blindfold so, on. He's 
bandaged what, up. What can't you do when you have a blindfold on? Well, you can't see very well. Exactly, of things we cannot see. Okay, okay. And I, re I really don't know what you're doing down there. Well, this is where it's found in the Bible. Okay. So there's a little boy. Yeah, there's a little boy. Uh-huh. What What yeah. else is there? I, is that a football? No, that's, or, that's not a football. Is it a coffee pot? It's a coffee pot. Okay. So it's... Okay. Instead of boy, we're going to say he. I don't think little boys should drink coffee. Well, probably not, but... Um, it's okay. We're going to go with it anyway. Okay, I'm going to pretend like it's a dad. Okay, it's a dad, and, okay. and a dad is a, a dad. he. Uh -huh. He, and then how, do you know how to make coffee? Well, I sure do. You put the grounds, and then you pour some water over it, and you stick it in the microwave. No, you don't stick it in the microwave, Becky May. Yeah. You brew it. Oh, okay. So if we take he and put it with brew, what do we get? You have he brew. He brews. Hebrews 11.1. 1. Yes, that is See, it. See, Pastor Lee, I told you I could teach this I'm memory so verse. glad you could. But would you mind if we say it from the beginning? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can do that. Here we go. Okay, so we got faith shows yep. the reality Very good. of what we hope for. It is the evidence there you go. Good of job. the things we see. Hebrews 11.1. 1. Almost, of the things we cannot see. Because he's blindfolded. Remember Becky May? Oh, you he's didn't not, talk about that. He's not cheating you looking did, under that. You did not teach me that. Well, that's what it is. Of the things we cannot see. Well, I'm going to go make a TikTok video about this. You, you know, don't have over a thousand you're followers, on don't you? Becky May? Yeah, yeah. You should follow me. Well, okay, I'm going to go teach all my followers this memory verse. I'll see okay, you later. Bye, bye, Becky May. Hey, howdy, hey, compatriots. My, my name is Dooley, and this is Harry. We're coming back to you. Happy Easter, friends. <laughs> if you don't know who we are, we're Taekwon Jitsites, the master of Taekwon Jitsu, a karate art form to, to, created on top of the Himalayan mountains by me. Today, we're gonna remind you of our awesome skills by breaking some sticks. Hiya! Hiya! Ah! Ah! Oh! Okay. Now that you remember how strong we are, we're gonna do something else. The Bible says that we fight more than flesh and blood, and so we need weapons that are stronger than the ones of the world because this one's obviously weak. So, let's show you some weapons that are out of this world. The Bible says that Jesus gave a victory over sickness and death. Hey Harry, you feeling sick? That's not good. Let me help you feel better by the power of principalities. Okay, come here. Come here, buddy. No, no, Harry, freeze. Freeze, get over here. Okay, this is for your good, I promise. Once you've captured your sick friend, you can spray them down with disinfectant to make them whole again. And that is how you defeat the sickness. Okay, so we just showed you how to defeat sickness. One other thing Jesus defeated was death. We're gonna show you how to do that right now. But in order to defeat a target, you have to see it. So that's why we're gonna personify it right now. As you can see, death is a bad guy. We're gonna destroy him today with the power of Easter. Now, we tried to use the plastic Easter eggs, but those were very powerful. So we made some new friends on our own. These are called Destructo eggs. We're gonna use them to destroy death right now. Take that, death. Hiya! Okay. Harry, do you want to do anything else? I have an idea. Take these.
That's how you destroy death. And maybe get a couple bruises. <laughs> this has been Dooley Dojo's Dooley's Dojo Easter celebration. Go out there and have a great day. Hey you guys, I'm so glad you joined me today. We have a special guest that's gonna be joining us on Zoom. So let's check out and see who it is. Me, 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 me. Oh, um, why are you here? You're hey, not... Pastor Michelle, so good to see you. No, no, you're not supposed to be our special guest. How did you get in here? Who gave you the link? You know what? I, uh, I know a guy that knows a guy. Um, and your special guest, at the very end of all of this, you might need to go unlock him from the trunk of your car. That is terrible, Google. terrible. Hey, you know what I did find out? I found out restraining orders don't apply to Zoom calls. Woohoo! We can talk again! You're a mess. What are you doing here? I came because I have a very important announcement to make. What is your announcement that's so important? I am going to defeat the Rona! Defeat the Rona? That's right. What, what is Rona? Rona, you know Corona. Coronavirus? COVID-17. COVID-19? That's what I said. No, that's not what you said. Why, why is it your job to defeat the Rona? Well, obviously you weren't doing a good enough job, so I figured if you're not gonna do it, I better step up. It's not my job either. It's not your job. There's literally thousands of medical professionals that are working on defeating the Rona. Well, I thought I would hurry things up. So far, I've got a big, huge jar of pickle juice that I'm trying to throw things in, and I keep drinking it, hoping that I won't get Rona. Pickle juice? Yeah. What? What? I don't understand the pickle juice. How is that going to help you defeat the Rona? Uh, I read it all online. Don't you read anything on social media? Oh, that is not really the place to get your facts right now. No, it's totally true. All you got to do is drink pickle juice all the time and wear a trench coat over your head and you'll be fine. No, no, no. I don't know who you're following on social media, but you need to go ahead and click unfollow and get your information from someone else. You do not have to defeat the Rona. You don't have to drink the pickle juice. You don't have to wear a trench coat over your head. What is happening? But, hold on. What do you mean I don't have to defeat the Rona? You don't have to. It's not your job. Well, whose job is it? It's the medical professional's job. And we were just learning about our Bible verse about how we're supposed to have faith that God, because he's already defeated hell, death, and the grave, and disease. Oh, hold on, hold on, slow, slow it up a second. Okay. You said God already defeated disease? Yes. How? We can have faith in him. So I don't have to worry about this? No. You I don't. can just have faith that everything's gonna be okay? You just need to be smart. Wash your hands, don't touch your face, which is all good because you don't even have hands. Those were low blows right there. My bad, just stating facts. I, got I just am going media. to uninvite you from my birthday party. Well, that's okay. I'm not too sad about that. But you don't have to worry about defeating it. That's the best news I've ever heard. So I can stop drinking all this pickle juice? Yes, you can. That's really good because uh, I really hate the smell of pickle juice. I'm also really allergic to it, and I have a rash like you wouldn't believe. I, I don't want to know about your rash, but are you good now? I am so good. Awesome. Well, I'll catch you later, okay, Pastor Michelle? All right, bye. We'll see ya, bye. Today, I have an amazing Bible story to tell you. This isn't just a Bible story, it is the Bible story. It's found in Matthew chapters 26 through 28. One day, Jesus went to a garden to pray. Father, if there is any other way, please, can we do something different? But Jesus knew what he had to do. This time with his father was so intimate that he literally began to sweat drops of blood. Suddenly, he heard a noise coming closer and closer. He looked up, and there was a crowd of soldiers. They had their swords drawn and spears, and they began to move forward to Jesus. One of Jesus' followers came forward and gave a signal, and the guards came and arrested Jesus. Well, Peter, he jumped out of the crowd, and he had his own sword, and he began to attack, and things started getting crazy. But Jesus calmed the fight down and said, No, stop. This is how it needs to be. Jesus was led before the governor of the land, and the governor brought Jesus before all the people. Tell me, what crime has this man committed? 
but the people shouted in unison, he's guilty, he's guilty. Well, if this man is guilty, what should be done with him? Kill him, kill him, kill the Jesus guy. Now the governor, he didn't want to kill Jesus, but he didn't know what else to do. He had an idea. He brought a convicted killer before the crowd. Uh, this man here, I'll release one of them. I'll release Jesus or Barabbas. Which one do you want me to release to you? But the crowd shouted all together. We want Barabbas! What should be done then with this Jesus fella? Kill him! So Barabbas was released to the people and Jesus was sentenced to death on a cross. This large, heavy cross was placed on him and he had to carry it until finally he got to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. The soldiers threw him to the ground and they grabbed his hands and they took these nails and they began to pound his hands into the cross deeper and deeper. Then they grabbed his feet and did the same thing. And then all together they lifted the cross up until finally it stood in its place. Jesus hung there for hours in agony, blood dripping down his face, dripping down his back. He looked down at all the people and he said, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. And then in a loud voice, he cried out, God, into your hands, I commit my spirit. And then Jesus breathed his last. His body was taken off of the cross and placed inside of a tomb. And a large stone was rolled in front of the tomb. For three days, he laid dead inside of that tomb. But three days later, on a day we celebrate as Easter, the stone was rolled away. Some women came to the tomb, but when they got there, they saw the stone moved and they went inside, but they, they couldn't find, they couldn't find Jesus. Where was he? What was happening? They ran back and told his disciples and, and Peter and John sprinted to the tomb. And when they got there, they saw him, Jesus. He was alive. He wasn't dead anymore. He was alive. He had defeated death. Jesus looked at his followers and he told them, I came back for you. I came back because I love you. And today, Jesus looks out to you and he says the same thing. I came back for you. I came back because I love you. So Easter is one of my favorite holidays. And not because of the eggs or the candy, even though I like those things. But Easter is my favorite because it's my time to remember all that Jesus did for me. It's my chance to remember that Jesus is my victory and that because of him, I can have faith. You see that day when Jesus was hanging on the cross, those that loved him the most were standing around him. His mom was there, his best friends were there and they had to have been so confused. They didn't know what was happening. Even Jesus himself the day before had pled with God, please, if there's another way, let's let that happen. And yet Jesus knew that this was the best plan because it wouldn't just bring him victory in the end, but it would bring victory for all of us. And while Jesus was hanging on the cross, he looked down, he told his mom that his friends would take care of her. And he told his friends that his mom would be there for them. You see, even when Jesus was suffering, he was so concerned about those that he loved. And even today, if you're confused, maybe you're scared, maybe you don't know what's going on, Jesus cares about you just as much. And when he won, when he beat the death and he beat the grave and he beat every sickness that there is, he beat everything for you too. Because of his victory, we get victory. In fact, because Jesus did all that, He's given us a place in his family. And if you wanna be a part of God's great family, 
It's very simple the way that God made that plan for us. He said all we have to do is believe that Jesus died on the cross, that he rose three days later to have victory over every bad thing that we would ever do. And there's no better day for you to join God's family than today. So if you want to join God's big family and have victory in your life, I want you to say this prayer after me. Let's pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving me and fighting fights for me. I'm so thankful that you are my victory. I need you to come into my life, forgive me of my sins, and I will do my very best to follow you for the rest of my life. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Now you are part of God's great big family and I can't think of a better celebration than this one right now because the Bible says that when one person joins God's family, all of heaven celebrates. And I bet all of your home is celebrating you today too. Did you guys hear today's Bible story? That's incredible. Jesus conquered sickness. He conquered death. He conquered sin. Jesus is the ruler of it all. Wow. You know, I don't have to worry. I can have complete trust in God. I can have faith because God is always with me. Well, I'm gonna call my grandma really quick, but I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.